I feel like it's been so long since I've actually been sitting down to film and record. I just, this is my good space. This is where I feel the most comfortable. <laughs> I have no idea why I get so out of breath like as soon as I start like recording. She read the fucking title. You know exactly what happened. A bitch went shopping again. So Pony, of, of fucking course, she would come out with a goddamn new collection. Um, Because, I don't know, when her last stuff came out, I'm like, oh my god, how is she gonna like come out with anything new? Like, what is she gonna come out with next? What happens? This bitch comes out with a teaser on her Instagram and her YouTube, and I'm like, bitch, I am living. So of course, she would come out with two new palettes. This is like their Christmas, her Christmas holiday collection or whatever. I think it was last year where her first, uh, the first Pony Effect makeup that came out was from another holiday collection. For this holiday, she came out with two palettes and three new lipsticks, which is, bitch got paid the day that it came out, so a bitch went shopping the day. He got his money. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking shut up so I can just keep talking. Um, anyway, she came out with two, um, eyeshadow palettes. The same packaging as her Master Contouring palettes. You've got the Matte Master palette. Which, you can open it. Um, perhaps you haven't even, like, I, I, I touched one of the eyeshadows just because I was curious. Obviously this one, and... If the other shadows are as good as this one, I am fucking living. Anyway, all these shadows are completely matte. Um, you've got your names obviously here, and um, yeah. She already has eyeshadow palettes, which actually didn't get very good reviews, which I can understand because um, the pigmentation wasn't really there, which for me isn't really much of an issue because y'all already know I don't wear eyeshadow that strong anyway, so I didn't mind if it wasn't if it was very natural looking um, and it wasn't like in your fucking face. I don't know, I have a really good feeling about these shadows. Um, she probably improved the formula on these, but what I really enjoy though is the fact that these colors here around the edges minus these two, I already kind of wear. Are, these are the kinds of colors that I already wear. These kinds of these kind of like brown, pinkish, brown, pink colors. Um, I've been wearing a lot for this holiday, which I think is getting. I see a lot of people wearing them. Because even people on like the Western side of beauty YouTube, um, lots of pinks, uh, burgundy shades like that for the this holiday season. So this stuff. You're gonna expect looks for these two palettes. To coincide with the matte palette, she came out with an all shimmer palette. This is the, what is it, the Shimmer Master palette. I'm wondering who, is, like even starting from her liquid lipsticks, I was like, who the hell came up with these names? Cause literally, <clears throat> this shade is called Yas. Like I'm not even joking. But I'm looking at this palette and I have to say, because I feel like Korean eyeshadows in general are all very shimmery already. Um, but these shadows are like really unique. There's almost a kind of Anastasia Moonchild palette or highlighter palette vibe to these. They're all like, when you first look at it, you're like, oh, okay. But they're all sort of like, I can't even describe. They're all, well, one, they're all kind of that fall muted sort of tone about them. But... The shimmers in them, I would say these shades right here along the outside are kind of, you know, they're your, you know, basic shimmery shadows. However, the ones here have like multifaceted shimmers in them, so they have like dimension to them. So you, these, a lot of these, when I'm looking at them from like my first impression, I can tell it's one of those, you know, one of those shades where you put it on and you can just leave it like a one shadow sort of look, but depending on how you turn your head, you get that sort of dimension to it. So... Cause like even just looking at it in the palette and kind of like moving around like this, I'm getting like different dimensions of different colors. So excited for that! Really excited to see. It. I've only talked about one, two products, and I'm already like, okay. Along with the palette, she came out with three new outfit velvet lipsticks. You guys know I love the pigmentation on these. They're really creamy. They're matte, of course. Actually, no, one of them is not matte. One of them is like a shimmer. I'm gonna talk about this one because I'm sure you're already wondering. This one is in Fearless. And this is just a straight up matte black lipstick. Of course, the first thing I thought of when um, I saw this was the black color that was in the customizing lip palette. However, this one, you know, it's just a straight up matte black. It's really creamy. You do have to build it up though. It's not one of those like one swipe colors. But all the, I know there's like, when brands come out with makeup, they always talk about, oh, one swipe is all you need. But like, is there really anybody that when they put lipstick on, they only put one swipe, even if it's full coverage color? I feel like, 
if you're gonna put lipstick on your your instinct is kind of just go back and forth so that doesn't really matter to me but this one i mean it doesn't take that much to like build it up but um yeah I w it's not like super super matte like a liquid lipstick kind of matte because there is it's a cream formula so there's a tiny bit of sheen to it but for the most part it's like on the matte side i suppose you're looking at this like oh my god if you're, unless you're a person that likes black lipstick you're probably looking at this like oh my god like why would i ever wear this um but i'm thinking it's one of those shades like for example this one the other new one what is this dark fantasy when i first saw that i was like oh it's kind of like a red she i would have thought she already put out but actually it's kind of like a classic red but more like on the pink side however upon closer inspection you probably can't see it like right here but there's like blue purple shimmer in it which gives it that really pretty dimension yeah this is definitely a holiday color but it has that uniqueness of like it probably depending on like the texture really you're probably not even going to notice it but from the swatch i can see that there's like you know there's like purple blue shimmers I mean, it's really pretty it's very pretty but yeah going back to what i said about the black um you, it's probably one of those lipsticks you can use to take your like just like the customizing lip palette it's one of those shades you can put on top of your current one and make it deeper as you see it deepen it up a little bit giving that sort of fall vibe so if you have a bunch of lipstick that you really like and you feel suit you getting something like this and then putting it on top can like take it to that other level and kind of you know add some uniqueness to the shades that you already own and then last but not least is like i mentioned earlier fearless this one like a beigey gold sort of i don't know it's just, it's it's part of the outfit velvet line which is supposed to be like a matte line but this obviously is not really matte because there's shimmer in it but the formula is the same as the others it's a kind of a creamy it's not super glossy or whatever can you see that right there I definitely think this is one of those shades you would put on top of um, other colors, like this one right here. Let me try that, actually. Yeah, it would be cute to add to like the center of your lips to, you know, add that pop in the middle, make your lips look fuller, I guess. So that was her holiday collection. Now, I just there's a bunch of stuff that I randomly got um, in the same order. This is something that I've been wanting that came out a while ago, but I just never picked up. This is the mattifying blur powder, and it's basically just an HD powder. You have like a mirror, uh, one of these velour puffs, which I really love, and then you get your HD powder. This is very similar to the uh, Makeup Forever one because there's a, I think the Makeup Forever one has it, but there's like a mesh net here, so it helps you control how much powder you get, which is like a godsend because things like the Innis Free one, the Skin Food one, it's kind of just like holes on top of like a plastic like separator, so you kind of have to like dump out some, and then, but this makes it really convenient. And I tried it today, and bitch. It made my skin look so good, really, really good. It gives it like a really co like cover, it, like how do you say, it? like just like HD powders. They kind of uh, blur out your pores and your fine lines. And my skin looked so soft and plush, velvety. Loved it. Of course, um, I was wearing a quite moisturizing foundation and uh, this primer that I'm about to talk about, a hydrating primer. So it wasn't like my oils were like controlled they were like at bay they still my skin still maintained that really plush soft look to it so um yeah what i, I thought all hg powders were the same until i noticed i started i started using different ones and i noticed they're all kind of different in their own way so so far i've been liking well of course i only use it once today but so far i can tell i really love this one and the maybelline one i really like those i still love the skin food one and in this free one but i noticed in compared to this one and the maybelline one they're a little bit more chalky in a way um but i can work my way around that but from the get-go this and the maybelline one yes and because i mentioned it i'll talk about this one this one i did not order but i actually bought the day before um uh, actually i bought this like yesterday i have the original primer but uh because she has three primers this one an oil controlling one and the just original one uh this is the hydrating one because i noticed well because it's colder now my skin's starting to change and getting a little more a little bit more dry a little crustier so i picked this one up and i used it for the first time today i love it it's still because i was worried i was like is this just like a glorified moisturizer um but i noticed like even swatching on my hand that even though it's i mean it's moisturizing it's like a gel moisturizer it feels like however it still may, has that i can tell there's that silicon in it so you still get that like smoothed out blurred out feeling to the skin i can tell i'm going to be using this quite often in these cold seasons because 
Um, I love primers, however, I just noticed the really like oil controlling or the really like poor blurring ones just like dry my skin out throughout the day. So my uh, foundation ends up looking patchy and like crusty. But this one, from what I from today, I can tell I really like this one. Oh, here's one. I, I don't know. It's hiding under the boxes. This is a little travel brush set. The first thing that, uh, at first when I saw this I was like, oh, I don't really need it, but I actually I took a closer look to see what brushes were in it, and all the brushes that are in here are literally all the brushes that I tend to use in like a regular makeup look. They're all, they all, actually the shape almost looks like the uh, Bold Metals collection from Real Techniques, and they're quite weighted so they don't feel cheap. Um, they feel like rather substantial because this is like $35 or so. You get a powder brush which is really, it's just, I actually use this one to set my powder with um, set my face with this powder earlier today. You just, you just have your basic powder brush. You have a cheek brush, which is really cute. It's the perfect size for just adding blush on the top of it, or highlighter even. And the eyeshadow brushes are honestly like the three main shapes that I use. You've got your medium like flat shader, kind of used to pack color onto the lid. Um, blender brush, absolute essential. And then you get like a little more pencil type brush, which I like to use for like right here on the outer corner of the eye. Sorry, I'm like looking, I got a new monitor, so I'm like looking down here. So I need to fix that so it's more up there so it looks like I'm looking at the camera, but anyway. Uh, but these, like, abs if you travel a lot, I think this would make a perfect um, set for like more basic looks, I guess, because I'm a basic fucking bitch, though. <laughs> and just like the original brushes, they're all a very high quality, soft, synthetic, um, synthetic bristle, I guess. One thing I don't, I've never, I don't think I've ever mentioned anywhere is that uh, whenever I'm taking thumbnail photos for like like the product shots for my thumbnail photos, one thing I'm like quite I forget about, but like when I see it on the computer, I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck didn't I do that? Is I'm actually really so not self conscious, but I'm very conscious, I guess, about my nails because I have really like gross looking nails. They're not gross, but like the, I don't take care of the cuticles. My fingers are quite dr like the nail beds and the like skin above the nails are really dry, so they peel a lot. Um, so this I this stuff actually came out a while ago, but I just uh, figured I might as well just order now. She has a bunch of like n other than nail polish, she has nail care items. Look at that! Isn't that packaging so cute? Ugh, the aesthetic though, the aesthetic. So this is the hardener, which I guess is kind of like a top coat slash. Um, no, I think this is more of just like nail care. Um, if your nails are quite soft and flimsy and break, I guess this is what you're supposed to use. Then you've got your cuticle oil, which is what I need because my nails are fucking dry. So I'll come, if there's like a little dropper in there rather than a brush, this one has a brush. And this one, the cuticle remover. I honestly have that don't have that much experience. The cuticle remover, the only memory I have of them is when my mom would go to this fucking nail salon um, and or not even that, but my grandma would do it at home. She has like that pink liquid that you use to like remove the cuticles, and that's my experience with cuticle remover, so I guess that's what that is. And I guess because I got nail stuff, I got these uh, holographic stencil things. So I got three, so I'm assuming every nail product you get, you get one set of this. It's a bunch of stencils, very pony effect in like the shape and like the, the designs that you get. I'm assuming you can both peel off the shades and use as like stickers and like put a uh, top coat over it or you can after you take out the stickers you can kind of like use it as a stencil to um you, you put it on your nail and then you like put polish over it so you get that shape i think that's what it's for i think but yeah it's cute this is another item that came out oh, a while ago but um i never really picked it up because i felt like i didn't need it but um because i'm going to be i feel like i'm going to be doing more lip swatches um, I needed this to remove that shit because using, um, I don't know, I feel like it would be more convenient to just have it on cotton pad and just wipe it off. But this is the Natural Purifying Cleansing Water. I think this is one of those micellar waters, just like Bioderm or Simple Cleansing Water. I think, what does it say on the box? It says that it's soap-free, it hydrates the skin, it's for all skin types. So I'm thinking this is like skin care, um, but I don't think I would ever use this as like my first cleanse during my night cleansing routine. I'll probably just use this for when I am doing someone else's makeup and I need to remove whatever's left on their face. Or if I'm doing it myself and I just need to quickly take something off like I make a mistake with my eyeliner or something or if I need to take off my lips for lip swatches. And the top is like a convenient little pump. I love these pump things. They're so convenient. 
you just take your compact, you squeeze, and like the uh, liquid goes up, and very convenient. And it's not the kind from I used it the first time today, and it does because some of these like to squirt out so hard that even if you have the cotton pad sitting on top covering it, it still somehow squirts out. But this one, it didn't do that. That's a small issue, but um, yeah. Um, they also threw this in. Um, it's a passport holder. I've been wanting a passport holder, but I'm not even traveling. Um, anytime soon. It's a little, yeah, you put your passport in here. I thought that was sweet of them. I always saw it like in the back of the, at the Mimi Box counter at the little pay, the checkout thing behind it. I always saw it, but they always gave me something. They always gave me like, see, like even in this one, they included these two compact mirrors because I bought so much. I already have one, uh, but it's like a little pouch that has a convenient little mirror. And this is some high quality shit, bitch. I can tell because even on the back, it's like double layered. Um, it's not gonna scratch off. Yeah, they have. A, they, Pony Fact has a lot of like little free gifts that you get when you um, buy anything. They even gave out like a gold pouch, like the, in that What's in Pony's pouch, uh, just for buying like twenty dollars worth of stuff. So, props to her. So that was what I got at um, from Pony Mimi Box Pony Fact. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I actually, I'm actually using a new camera, so I, I'm wondering if the quality is better. Uh, or if it was even worth getting this shit, it was like three grand. Hopefully it was. Um, uh, I'm really worried because I always film and I always forget something. Okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram because it gets real wild on there, not really. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Something about the way you look at me, the way you comb your hair, the way you grab my hair, the way you stop and stare. Just give me one minute, babe, cause it's just not fair